oil. So let me put my can on. This video is going to be Pisces dealing with a Leo. Leo dealing with a Pisces. Take it how it resonates. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And thank you for all your likes, subscribes, and shares. Let's see what's going on with Pisces and Leo. Chemistry. Ooh. We can work with that. Romantic feelings. Mm-hmm. Go. Give your relationship a chance. And I don't know why, but I feel like one or the other. We'll find out. Let's find out. Spirit, what's going on with these two? I'm not going to say it before I pull it. Okay, you could work, work with this person. Ah! Jumped out. There's pentacles, pentacles everywhere. Good choice. This is past energy. Let's start with that. Ooh, king and queen of cups. There was a fight here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. The strong magnetic attraction. You guys could work together. And somebody has to make a choice to be fair to the other one. That's past energy with this one. Then we have this one over here that has romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This person has won over some burdensome energies, but they still got left with kind of, you know, maybe a financial position that they're not really, mm, not ready to move on from. Ashes all over me from the sage. Um, let's see what the present energy for is, these, this couple is. Because in the middle, we have... You guys are moving towards each other, and I do feel like you're far away from each other. This was past energy. You guys are, like, at a distance from each other, but you love each other. You love each other very much. And this person's making a choice to come towards their perfect match. It's beautiful. This person is still kind of struggling a little bit. Let's see going on in the present healing four of four whoops wrong one all right nine of swords on the bottom so this is coming in pretty quick guys i don't know who i'm talking to but this person has healed themselves they're hanging on to their money i think they're they're afraid to share their money but they're going towards their ten of cups, so they're hanging on to they're hanging on to their ten of cups. They're hanging on and not taking no for an answer. Okay, this person is not taking no for an answer. The chemistry is unbelievable, and whether or not this person knows it, they manifested this. They made this come to them. In some kind of way, I'm feeling like they had all the tools they needed to get this person. And now this person is coming in with a fiery message of passion and making an offer of stability to this magician. That could be you, that could be them. But they are a magician. They are a master manifester. That's what this is, is that they were manifesting a better present, which is what this is. And now this person's coming in to try to fulfill their wish of having a relationship with this person 
And there you are, Leo, being very foolish, but taking a brand new leap of faith into the unknown. There's many cups here. Is this an illusion? Or is there only really one cup? That's for you to decide. Having the strength to do that is going to be very important. Do not rush into something without thinking about it. I'm being guided to say that. Let's see what the future energy holds for these two. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Wow. Wishes granted, marriage, stability, and somebody walking away or walking towards. Let's see what's going on here. This is future energy. So this person, this is a Pisces card. This person cuts through the bullshit and gets right to the point. They are single. They are very well-rounded and abundant. Okay? But they want the truth and nothing but the truth. And they want that to be highlighted in this relationship before they come forward and make that final offer. All right? They want it solidified is what I'm hearing. This person in the future could possibly become a mom. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning for this person. They are now becoming the Empress. Abundant, secure, bows to no one. And that is their wish. Their hope is that they don't have to depend on anyone else. They can be this Empress without having to appease somebody else's restrictions is what I'm he hearing. But this does lead to marriage and stability. But there's some regret here. So be careful with that, whoever you are. If there's regret in the mix, you have to take a second look at it, at what it is you truly want because this person's holding back the love. They're holding back the money. They're holding back everything. And this person is trying to just be. So before you go into this five of cups energy on both parts, you need to balance this energy out because it's not balanced. All right. This one's holding out. This one's trying to move forward. There's you got to balance that guys to get this perfect, perfect pair. I mean, it looks good, all except for, you know, a little bit of uh, regret and sadness in the future. I don't want you, I don't want somebody to go out there and get married and, and start building a life together and then be disappointed in that. That's not, that's not cool. Concern. Message. Unexpected income. Uh-oh. Hmm. What I'm seeing here is somebody is concerned about the other one. Three, three. This person is concerned about this person. This person gets a message about this person being concerned. With the coffin there, I feel like somebody just lost someone here. Somebody lost someone. That's what they're concerned about. So they're sending the other one a message. Like I said, I see money here. And there's the unexpected income. 
whoever this person is, they're letting this person know, and I feel inheritance here. They're letting this person know that there is an inheritance here. One or the other is going to regret something. Somebody's going to regret something here. Regret what they did. Regret what they said. Regret for getting involved. I don't know what that is. I guess you'll be able to figure that out. But someone is not happy about the way they handled the situation. Yeah. Okay. Half baked love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, hesitation. This person is not showing their true feelings. They're hiding themselves. They're pretending. They're deluding and gaslighting the other one. It's like with this inheritance, they're telling this person that they don't deserve it. That's the message. This person is watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. So you're gaslighting each other. You're both trying to tell the other one that that's the reason why. That's the reason why. This person is gone. You guys need to stop doing that to each other. That's not cool. In the middle, we have looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. Yeah, well, if you're missing each other, then why don't you both drop the sunglasses and the mask? Okay, I'm just saying. It's just silly. Silly, silly. I'm going to pull some... Um, pull some... Uh, my new little deck I made called Seven Deadly Sins. Let's see what's going on with this masked person. Love. Yeah, they truly love the other one. This one's the this one wants the truth, nothing less. Wrong direction. You guys need to work together. Give it a chance. Work together. Stop working against each other. Because that's that's the wrong direction. That's why somebody ends up in the Five of Cups energy. Is because they regret what they said or did. Let it flow, balance, and divinely protected. Mirror, self-reflection, and toxic energy. Yes, you are both definitely reflecting to one another the toxic uh, energy of gaslighting, which, you know, if you don't know what that is, it's when somebody says, you're the reason why I am the way I am. Not true. Not a true statement. There's magic being played with here. Black magic, not just magic. Twin flame, sacred union. It's like somebody got everything they wanted and it still wasn't good enough. Energetic vampires. Y'all are sucking off each other. And one or the other is stalking. Or both. You know, you could both be stalking each other. Consistently. You are twin flames. But somebody's practicing magic and trying to drain the other one. You can't do that. There has to be a balance. There has to be the balance between two. And if somebody just passed away and left this person a bunch of money, it's their money. Don't try to drain somebody else's resources and money because... Because I can't even say it. Just because. I mean, there is really even, not even a reason here. This person ain't doing bad. 
So there's not even really a reason for y'all to play games like this with each other. But, you know, hey, take what resonates and leave the rest. And stop sucking each other dry of, re of resources, of, of emotional. I'm feeling like this is more emotional than, than even resources here. I think somebody here wants to be right. And it's as plain and simple as that. And that's not always the way things work out. All right? Well, those are the messages I have for you today. Thanks for coming. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.